डियर स्टूडेंट सत श्री अकाल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव कम अप विद द रिविजन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ कंप्यूटर साइंस लेसन फाइव एंड लेसन सिक्स यू नो डैट द पंजाब स्कूल एजुकेशन बोर्ड इज गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द नवंबर दिसंबर मंथली एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव प्रिपेयर दिस वीडियो कीपिंग दिस एग्जाम इन माइंड बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू डैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब to my channel yet please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of all my upcoming videos so let's get started first of all we take a look at the paper pattern of class 9th subject computer science a paper of a total 11 marks will appear from class 9th lesson 5 ms excel part 3 which will have five question of one mark three question of three marks and one choice question and no question of six marks will come from this lesson similarly a paper of total 14 marks will come from lesson 6 ms excel part 4 in which five question of one mark one question of three marks and two question of six marks will come from this lesson out of which one question will be asked by keeping this paper pattern student can score well in the exam so now let's start the review of lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video so we will now learn about fill in the blank in lesson number 5 so the first fill in the blank is each function or formula must start with the symbol in ms excel and their option are plus equal to ampersand and caret and the right answer is each function or formula must start with equal symbol in ms excel and second one is which function of ms excel can be used to find minimum number from given range and the option are minimum mid min or none of these and the right answer is min function of ms excel can be used to find minimum number from given range and third one is ampersand symbol is an alternate of dash function in ms excel and the option are sum and concatenate and the last one is power and the right answer is ampersand symbol is an alternative of concatenate function in ms excel and the fourth one is which data tool can be used to have only distinct value in a particular column and their option are data validation text to column formula and the last one is remove duplicate and the right answer is remove duplicate data tool can be used to have only distinct values in a particular column and the fifth one is which one is an example of arithmetic operator and their option are plus percentage caret or all of these and their right answer is all of these is an example of arithmetic operator so now we will learn about true or false in lesson number 5 so first one is we cannot count blank cells in ms excel false second one is formula is an expression of operator and operand to perform calculations true third one is sum function can be used to perform addition of values in a particular range true fourth one is text to column option can be used to split over content in multiple cells true and the fifth one is now function returns current date and time in ms excel true so now we will learn about short answer type question in lesson number 5 so the first question is right arithmetic operators being used in ms excel so arithmetic operators are used to perform basic mathematical operation the list of these operator is as under in the as you see in the table symbol description example and the last column is result the first one is plus plus is used for addition minus which is used for subtraction asterisk which is used for multiplication forward slash which is used for division percentage sign which is used for percent and caret sign which is used for 
exponential. And the second question is, what do you mean by data validation? So data validation is one of the most important tools of Excel. Using this tool, we can define the rules for data to be allowed in the cell. If enter data in the cell does not follow the specified rules, it will display an error message. This tool is available in the data tab. And the third one is give the name of any three mathematical function. So following are the commonly used mathematical function. The first one is sum function. Second one is count function. Third one is average function. And the fourth one is min function. And fifth one is max function. And the fourth question is what is sorting in MS Excel? So arranging data in a sequence is called sorting. Data can be arranged in ascending or descending order. To sort data in Excel sheet, home or data tab can be used. To arrange data in ascending order, we use ascending option and for descending order, we will, use, we will use descending option. And fifth one is define formula. So a formula is an expression that operate on values. These expression may include constant values, cell addresses and operators. In Excel, formulas are used to perform calculation on numerical data. Each formula begins with equal sign. Standard operator like plus, minus, asterisk, forward slash, caret, etc. can be used in formulas to perform different type of calculations. And the sixth one is give the name of conditional function used in MS Excel. So commonly used conditional function used in MS Excel are given below. The first one is if function, second one is summary function, third one is county function. So now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number five. So first question is what is cell referencing? Explain its types. So cell reference refers to the cell address. Cell references are used in formulas and functions to perform calculation on cell data. For example, equal to A1 plus A2. So here A1 and A2 are the cell references. So type of cell references. So there are three different type of cell references in Excel. The first one is relative reference. This is a default referencing in MS Excel. When formulas with relative reference are copied to other location, cell reference change according to the change in the position of row and column. For example, equal to A2 plus B2. Second one is absolute reference. When formulas with absolute reference are copied to other location, cell reference do not change according to the change in the position of rows and column. Both rows and column remain fixed by copying formulas. So dollar symbol is used with row and column address of a cell to specify absolute reference. For example, equal to dollar A dollar 2 plus dollar B dollar 2. And the third one is mixed reference. This cell referencing is a mixture of both absolute and relative references. Only either row or column remain fixed while copying formula. For example, equal to A2 plus B dollar 2. So here is an example which show the relative, absolute and mixed reference. So the second question is define any three string functions. String functions are used on text data only. Commonly, commonly used string functions are explained below. The first one is LEN function. So this function is known as length function. We can find the number of character including spaces and symbols within a string using this function. For example, equal to len, left parenthesis, in the double quote, write the text to whom you want to find the length, then close the right parenthesis. So it will show 14 as length of string. Second one is lower function. So this function is used to convert the string into lowercase. For example, equal to lower in the parenthesis, in the double quote, write the text whom you want to convert into small or lower case. So it will show small hello. And third one is upper function. 
this function is used to convert the string into uppercase so for example equal to upper in the parenthesis in the double quote write the text you want to convert it into uppercase so it will show hello in capital letters and the third question is what is function explain any two mathematical function with suitable example so functions are the predefined formulas these formulas can be used for calculation in excel sheet each function begins with the symbol equal to in the excel following are two commonly used mathematical function the first one is min function this function is used to get smallest or minimum number from the given range of cell for example so in the excel sheet in the given range it display result as 2 which is minimum number of the range of the cells and second one is max function this function is used to get largest or maximum number from the given range of cells for example so as you see in the below diagram so in the given number it display 9 as the largest number so now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number 6 so our first question is which option belongs to page layout tab and their options are page orientation paper size print area or all of these and the right answer is all of these belongs to page layout tab and the second one is which one is not a view in ms excel and their option are formula view normal view page layout view and the last one is print preview and the right answer is formula view is not a view in ms excel and third one is dash is the empty space between the worksheet data and the edges of the printed page and their options are paper size print area margin and print preview and the right answer is margin is the empty space between the worksheet data and the edges of the printed page so the fourth fill up is dash appears on the top of each page in print preview and printed sheet and their options are footer header bottom margin or none of these and the right answer is header appears on the top of each page in print preview and printed sheet and the fifth one is we can lock our cell from being accidentally changed with the help of dash option and their options are save as save print area and the last one is protect sheet and the right answer is we can lock our cell from being accidentally changed with the help of protect sheet option so now we will learn about true or false of lesson number six the first one is workbook cannot be protected in ms excel false second one is we cannot remove page break once inserted false third one is page orientations are of two types portrait and landscape true fourth one is margins can be on top bottom left right header and footer of a page true fifth one is we can use print area option to print a specific part of a worksheet true so now we will learn about short answer type questions so the first question is what do you mean by margin so a margin is the space between the main content of a page and its edges we can set margin in all four direction of a page that is top margin bottom margin left margin and right margin the margin helps to define where a line of text begins and ends commonly documents margin size is set to one inch so margin size can also be adjusted as per our requirement and the second question is write a short note on page orientation page orientation refers to the direction of a document in which it is displayed or printed we can use our page either in horizontal or vertical direction we can change the orientation of document using page layout tab therefore there are two basic types of page orientation the first one is portrait orientation this orientation defines the document in vertical direction and the second one is landscape orientation this orientation defines the document in horizontal direction and the third one is 
what do you mean by scaling so scaling is the process of compressing or expanding the content of a page so that it can be adjusted on a specific page or pages this option is very useful when we have to work on a large worksheet using this option we can adjust all the content of a worksheet on a single page similarly a small content can also be expanded over multiple pages scaling options are available on the page layout tab in excel as shown in the below diagram and the fourth one is give names of views in ms excel so there are five different types of views available in ms excel the first one is normal view second one is page layout view third one is page break preview fourth one is custom view fifth one is full screen view and the fifth one is what is the use of page break page break is an important option of excel it is a special marker that will end the current page and start a new line this is very useful option if we want our content to be printed among different pages this option is available on the page layout tab page break is always inserted at the top left corner of active cell so now we will learn about long answer type question so first question is what do you mean by page layout explain three page layout option so page layout refers to the arrangement of text images and other objects on a page in excel page layout options are mainly concerned with printing of our worksheet page layout tab provides command to change the layout of our page the first one is orientation page orientation refers to the direction of document in which it is displayed or printed we can use our page either in horizontal or vertical direction and second one is margin a margin is the space between the main content of a page and its edges we can set margin in all four direction of a page that is top margin bottom margin left margin and right margin and the third one is scaling scaling is a process of compressing or expanding the content of a page so that it can be adjusted on a specific page or pages this option is very useful when we have to work on a large worksheet and the second one is explain any two views of ms excel in detail so there are five views available in ms excel commonly used views are explained below the first one is normal view this is a default view of ms excel when we open ms excel our file automatically displayed in normal view this view is the easiest view to use for managing data creating formulas and formatting rows and columns we can change our view to normal view using view tab and the second one is page break preview this view of ms excel is mainly concerned with printing of our worksheet this view is a very powerful print preview it allow us to manually move page break and reorganize a worksheet into pages for printing we can change our view to page break preview using view tab and the third one is what is header and footer how will you apply header and footer in excel so headers and footers are the important element of a worksheet headers and footers are lines of text that print at the top and bottom of each page this option is very useful to add any important information like page number file name or any other custom message steps to apply header and footer are given below the first one is click on the page layout tab open page setup dialog box by clicking the launcher icon in the page setup group third one is in this dialog box click on header or footer tab fourth one is set the header and footer detail using appropriate options and the fifth one is click on okay button the student i hope you have revised lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video very well i hope you will get good marks in the papers thank you